previously I implemented uh, Fabrice's uh, Rua. Uh, he's a code for implied volatility in C++. And um, if we just run this, we can see that um, for the parameter values uh, specified S equal to 100, K equal to 100, R, T, uh, market price 1045, that the implied volatility is equal to 20%. If we took this code and just um, copied uh, in order to offer some kind of um, explanation of let's say of what's going on let's just copy and, and um, paste into Excel so just edit paste and wait just for clarity we might remove the first couple of um, rows here so delete and what I'll focus really on here is just the this section here Re the uh, bisection algorithm now um, so I want to explain the uh, effect of the algorithm and how it uh, uh, produces an applied volatility our parameter inputs are as follows that so if we could copy this and come up and paste for a second we could set out the following s is equal to 100 in fact I'll just fill these in and pause Okay, so essentially what we have is we have the value of the underlying asset, we have the exercise, we have the risk free rate, we have the dividend yield here is zero, time is one year, consistent with the values specified here, and sigma equal to 0 0.3. Uh, and what we want to do is we could, if we just quickly look at uh, our function, Okay, if we look at the function here for VBA function, um, we have Black Scholes call. So let's just copy that and go back into the spreadsheet and uh, edit, paste. And then we take equal to Black Scholes call um, S. So we have Black Scholes call. And K is equal to 100. And the risk free rate is equal to 0 0.05. And sigma is equal to, we can change that in a second. Dividend yield is 0. And the time period is 1 year. Okay, so if we hit return, we get a value of 14.23, but we changed that to 0 0.2. Okay, the value of the option here is consistent with the value uh, of the market price. So we have a market price, uh, and if we're looking for implied volatility, which this project is about, um, we, if you like, we have the market price, market price of the call, And we're trying to infer back. So if it turned out that the we didn't know what the mark we didn't know what the implied volatility was, uh, typically we would go to what if analysis, gold seek, set this cell. So we would set this cell equal to a value of 1045 by changing this cell here. Uh, 
um, you can see we can converge here as we get close to 0 0.2 the value of the option would be 1045.06. Okay, so, um, okay, let's try to follow in line. Um, the code that we have here, let's take out this, delete, and see if we can follow the steps consistent with the algorithm here, the bisection algorithm. So we might just remove, uh, delete, shift cells up. Okay, so what we want to look at is the effect of this algorithm. How does it implement? So, okay, let's expand both out. And we pull figures, and let's say uh, we start here with the code uh, for the bisection. And what it's basically doing is uh, defining a mid price and initializing it at zero and getting a low value and a low a high difference, call difference perhaps, and a high difference where. The low here is referring back to the parameter input A, which is kind of a low seed value for volatility, and B is a high seed value for volatility. So we basically, we estimate, uh, if you like, the value of the option for different values a and b for a and b for volatility so if we started here with a let's take this as the case with the lower volatility and this has been the case with the higher volatility then this would be zero point and if we can find it a we initially are taking as being equal to this copy and b is 7 so let's paste this in edit paste and here 7 7 percent so if you like we have two <coughs> basically the bsp the uh, market price of the option market price of the option MKT price um, is equal to the 104506 so that's the value of the option call option we observe in the market if we were to estimate the low LOC the IF and the high CDIF we would find that the value of the option is the market price market price minus uh, the value of the option associated with the lower uh, volatility okay and then for the higher likewise so in this instance okay so we could rewrite this as being the bs price the bs price being the market price bs price sorry the bs price being bs price being the price from the model in other words the model so let's just move this out and stress that it's the model and so if we like the low cdf is the market price 
this price where so we have uh, 1045 and we're subtracting away the 487 so if you like the market price subtract away the price from the model with the lower volatility uh, of this magnitude and then if we come out of there pull this value across again this is the market price of the option and if we subtract away the uh, the black scholes price the model price is subtracted away from the market price so the the market price subtract away the model price we get a value here of 89 negative 89 now if we come over here we can see that uh, if this if the product of these two is greater than zero it means one of two things it means both are negative or both are positive in this instance we have a positive value and a negative value if we had uh, both negative or both positive then this would be greater than zero and we should return a value of minus one meaning that we have to widen the range of uh, volatilities that we select or perhaps the value of the market price of the option is not consistent with uh, black shoals uh, properties and option theory but since uh, we get a value that's the product of these two would be less than zero in other words negative we should do the following we should take the average of a and b so let's take the average of a and b let's move this over Okay, so we'll make a little bit of space. Insert. And run uh, this value again. So if we take this, and let's say we take the average. So what are we looking at? The mid, mid P which is this value here and what's that it is the average of now um, it's equal to a plus b divided by 2 so about 3.5 and likewise as before we define a mid a mid C diff, mid C diff, and that's also defined as being equal to the market price. So, again, the market price of the option is 1045 is equal to 1045 minus the market, the model price of the option, but this time using the volatility from here, the 3.5. So, it's this figure here. This is the model price of the option, and that's negative 81. And we say if the absolute value is less than, so if this value is less than, in absolute terms, um, our tolerance, and the tolerance we specified is this value here. If it's less than the tolerance, then we should proceed down to return mid if, the mid P. In other words, this should be the volatility, but it's not because the absolute value here is in excess of 0 0.01. So what do we do? In that instance, we take B and we set B, the new B, as being equal to 3.5 or equal to this value here. So 3.5. And then we look again and we see that, that the absolute value is not less than 0 0.01. And we find that the process continues and I'll keep looking at that in the next video.